Hello guys, how's it going? It's Nathan here, Royal Masters. Well, I'm super excited today because we got the new Robo Stack from iRobot. This is the S1 million. It's amazing. It has a front facing camera here, two laser systems up top. It's amazing. And my favorite feature is the new Bob technology. Check this out, guys. And it will start up. It's amazing. You just bop it and it just goes. And this thing has a million pascals and it should clean really well. Check that out, guys. It's amazing. Bop it again and it should stop. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna see how well the new RoboStack uh, works. Okay, so hope you like my introduction. I wanna change it up a bit, just to keep you guys on your toes. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the 360 S10, we talked about the DreamBot L10 Pro, and we'll talk about the Roblox S6 Max V. The reasons why you should get these particular models. Also, we'll talk about the pros and cons and some of the highlighted features. Okay, so the main reason why you should look into these models is the front-facing optical recognition technology. These robot vacuums do a really good job going around obstacles, recognize them, and be able to clean around them. Uh, so this is great for a owner who has a lot of pets. Maybe you have a small child that likes to leave their toys on the ground, or someone like me who just just crazy for our vacuum reviews, leaves a lot of objects on the ground. Well, these robot vacuums should be able to go around them effectively. Okay, so let's talk about the designs. Uh, my favorite design so far is the 360S10. You notice that the laser system is inside the body of the robot, and I do apologize for the water here. Uh, I opened up the water tank and it started to spill here, so maybe I should clean up that area. But anyways, so having the lasers inside the body of the robot, there's no uh, dome for low-hanging furniture to hit. Now, if you have like saggy couches, when it goes under the couch, sometimes the dome will get hung up and cause the robot vacuum to get stuck underneath this. But since this is a smooth surface, it shouldn't have issues with that. Now, the downside is since it's only 180 degrees scanning, not 360 degrees, it does take a little bit longer to map out your floor plan because you kind of have to look around. Okay, so this guy also has another laser system up front here for the smaller obstacles. And finally, this guy has a uh, time of flight sensor. Uh, great for going around obstacles and recognizing obstacles, so it's a really cool thing. All right, let's talk about uh, the water tank here. So this is one of the first well, vacuums that actually have a uh, 500 milliliter water tank. Also has a 510 milliliter dustbin. So this is a very large uh, tanks, and you can use both the tanks at once. Now, usually they will have to sacrifice the size, but I was surprised they were able to put uh, two large tanks in this raw vacuum. Okay, so let's go now talk about the L10 Pro. Now, this guy uses a little bit different approach. Uh, still a cool design, do appreciate the three button layout. We got the home button, the power button, and also spot clean function. Now, this guy uses uh, lasers that kind of do like a crisscross pattern, sends out uh, beams of light, creates particles that hits the object, and once those particles come back, it will actually recognize that it's an object in front. Now, this guy does have a unique feature where you can actually turn off the laser system, so it doesn't recognize obstacles up front. So this is great if you have low-hanging uh, bed sheets, so the uh, back will actually try to go under your bed frame and not just think it's a wall or something. So it's a really cool feature for the 3 bot L10 Pro. Alright, finally, let's talk about the Roblox S6 Max V. This guy has been on the market for a while. I believe I've had this guy for about six months, and these guys are just coming out, getting released to the market at the time of this video. But with the Roblox S6 Max V, you do have that stereo camera-based system. It's called the Reactive AI. And now the benefit of having this is the live streaming capabilities. Let me show you that real quick. So if we launch the uh, Roblox app, you do have a little camera icon. Remote viewing activated. As you can see, my lights there, my camera, and you can also see the background of my jolly face. Now, you may also notice something else. You do have the messaging feature. So if you have your dog Fluffy on the couch, you can actually tell him to get off. Hey, Fluffy, get off the couch. Hey, Fluffy, get off the couch. Pretty cool feature. So if you're... Error, what remote view. Error four. Clean cliff sensors. Move the main unit away from any drops. Then restart. Well, it looks like the S6 Max V doesn't like to be on top of the other robots. Alright, so yes, so if you're away, you can actually use this as a mobile security device, or you can just check up on your pets or something. Now, I know some people prefer a laser system due to privacy concerns, but that's up to you if you don't mind having a camera on your robot. But you do have the option to disable the camera if you don't want that option. Um, 
So now let's talk about their performance as they were able to go around my obstacles. I felt like the S6 Max V and also the S10 performed the best. They were able to go around most of the objects and the 360 S10 was able to get the closest around objects and bring the dirt debris away from the objects. Now the Dreambot L10 Pro kind of struggled because of the high precision uh, mode. Now if you have objects that are a little bit more scattered around, uh, I think this would be fine. But close objects, I do recommend turning off the high precision option so they were back and get closer to the objects. Um, so since these guys are still fairly new to the market, I can't fully say the reliability. Uh, but since I've been using the S6 Max V for about six months, this guy's been a pretty strong performer. One downside is I have gotten some extract bar errors, meaning that the extract bar will slowly spin on the carpet. I have medium to high profile carpet, so that's just something to consider. Uh, both these guys actually performed a little better than the S6 Max V in terms of like actual cleaning. Just doing various hardware floors, tiles, and uh, carpeting, these guys did a little bit better. Alright, so thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something about these models. And this was mainly focused on navigation, uh, the different technologies, and some of the highlighted features. Alright, you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll catch you later. Adios.